Hello everybody, welcome to TFT Tarot for Today, Divine Dabblings with Oberon and Banshee. This is me, Oberon, with my emotional exchanges, my weekly look at what's going on with relationships, whether they're deeply emotional, personal, or just very good relationships, friends, that kind of thing. So to do that, I use the Final Rose Tarot, beautiful deck that has kind of a nice tone to it. And I pull two cards for each sign of the zodiac describing the, the good vibration you feel this week, but also the bad trip that maybe is also there waiting in the wings, so to speak. So let's get started right away then. Deck the final rose. <clears throat> Just going to finish shuffling these cards one more time. <clears throat> okay. First up, Aries. The good vibration is the Knight of Roses, the front runner. Well, that's a great card. That's like the Knight of Wands. This is the card of a person who is overall well poised to move into new relationships, begin new relationships, not just necessarily romantic ones. So this could be a sign about just friendships in general, but we're talking about extreme magnetism and Charisma is being manifested by Aries. So what could be the bad trip then? And it's the Queen of Rings, or Pentacles, reversed, says the single mom. Single mom reversed. Well... The bad trip is that maybe this is the time really to find a way to take better care of yourself rather than putting more of your energy into finding relationships. Find out what you need to have a fun day. Taurus. Three of cups, three of flutes. Here to make friends. Taurus, too, is manifesting good vibration of friendliness, warmth, emotional resonance this week. So things could be very good for you in terms of seeking relationships or finding a way to make your present relationships even more rewarding. <clears throat> But then there's that bad trip, and it's the Hierophant reversed, says the host. And the Hierophant tells us that maybe there's a lot of unconventionality in the air, and some of your, your moves, some of your ambiance or non-ambiance and trying to make friends may be misinterpreted. And people may really rear up and say, I'm not like that. I'm not that kind of person. So it may not be easy going wearing your heart on your sleeve, Tauruses. Gemini. Queen of Cups. Queen of Flutes. The caregiver. Gemini, you two are highly magnetized towards a really feeling vibration. Uh, you are giving a lot of care and love to people unconditionally. So the idea is you're not doing this with the idea or any idea that you could <clears throat> receive a reward of somebody's special attentions. You're doing this for the, the good of doing it. <clears throat> 
But then there's that bad trip, and it's the Four of Cups reversed. Reflection. And it may be saying that although there's a lot of unconditional things here, perhaps the one you really do want is choosing someone else. It just seems to me like maybe there's kind of a defensive motion in being more giving when maybe somebody who might be more the object of your attention is going a different way. Okay, Cancer. Moon children. And you have the high priestess or the advisor upright. Cancer, whether it's for yourself or for all your friends, you're going to be invaluable this week trying to dispense good romantic or friendship or emotional type uh, information or support. Uh, maybe somebody's having a hard time figuring out the clues on who they love or who loves them. You may be able to help them out with that. Okay, then the bad trip is the reversed Eight of Swords, Eight of Mirrors in your head. And it's reversed. So this is actually not a very bad trip, but it could be saying to that those you're trying to help really have built up some blockades around themselves or their hearts, and they're not going to be as easy to reach as you might want them to be. And if, if it's important to you to reach them, well, there's going to be problems. Okay, so then on to... Um, Leo, and Leo has justice upright, the hot seat. And I think Leos are going to be thinking about exactly what it is they can do to see the truth in their relationships. They may have to put somebody on the hot seat, or they may have to do something that kind of puts them in that position of being able to to make a judgment, to see, uh, collect the data, and interpret for themselves, and move that way. So then what is their bad trip? And it's justice opposite strength. You know, strength and justice sort of have a weird relationship in the Major Arcana, but it's reversed. It says opening up. So... It may be really, too, that the more you try to pin somebody down or to see what they're about in terms of making your decision, the more they're going to pull away from you. So you may have to try a softer touch overall. Okay, then from Leo, we move to Virgo. And Virgo says the devil made them do it. Number 15, the devil. Virgo may be is actually thinking about how they view certain aspects of their life, their relationships as maybe being too obsessive or that they're just too dependent on somebody. And, and so they want to really try to magnify to be more independent. And that may mean really having um, a new attitude when it comes to some relationships. <clears throat> so then that bad trip for Virgo is the Empress reversed, the Bachelorette. You might want to be independent, but what you really want is for someone to take care of you Virgo, you might have to be really truthful with yourself. Are you that villain? Are you just looking for love in the wrong places? Or is it really just finding that one special person that really will make you swear off everybody else forever? I don't know, but it looks interesting for the Virgos. 
and then we're on Libra. And Libra has the star of the cocktail party. Libra enjoys great, great success in relationships this week. It may not be so much that they're moving into the relationship that they've been waiting for, the epicness, but there's just some sense really of reaching maybe the broadest potential audience that you could want to reach in the situation. You're just looking great to everybody. But it's bad trip time. And it's the five of wands reversed, the five of roses. And this may be saying that no matter how you look to people, there still may be a lot of um, bantering about, a lot of competition to get exactly where you're trying to be. And so you might look the best, but you're still going to have to fight the hardest. Scorpio. You have the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Rings, the group date. <clears throat> Scorpio, there's strength in numbers this week. You may find that if you're trying to move into the relationship zone, that maybe you're going to need a little help in some respects from friends. Maybe you know people who know people who can help it along. So that's where Scorpio's at. But the bad trip for Scorpios is the reverse Six of Cups. The butterflies. And I think this time it's pertaining to butterflies in the stomach. And I think it's saying really, maybe we don't want to be out there this week because maybe there are too many things that just remind us of how hard it is sometimes to get get going in a relationship when you don't have any peeps to help you. So there, Scorpio. Sagittarians. You have the Ten of Roses, the Ten of Wands, the shoulder to cry on. And what does that mean exactly? I think what that's saying for you guys is... No matter how hard it looks for you, somebody is really there to try and help you shoulder that burden. Somebody is there to maybe pass the Kleenex. Um, it doesn't look like it this week, in a way, Sagittarians. It may look like you still have a road to follow. But at the end of that road, there is somebody who will be nicer to you in this time. They may not be exactly what you want. But they're going to treat you well. And then your bad trip <clears throat> is judgment reversed. Number 20, it says, the rose ceremony. <clears throat> Most of these cards are modeled after uh, certain uh, concepts from one of the bachelor dating games, I believe it is actually called the final rose. And so the rose ceremony reversed, maybe it really says it's going to be a little bit longer than just getting to the end of the box of Kleenex that really you're coming up quite short here um, romantically or relationships, Sagittarians, there's probably just too many burdens for you to work your way through that. And some of those are probably about externals that aren't exactly related to yourself. You may not have any control over them. Capricorn, your good vibration is the three of swords upright. It says red flags. So it's a good vibration, 
Capricorn, you may be finding that something you felt was true about a relationship or situation uh, did have these kind of red flags and that maybe your best move is to clear away from it. So your good vibration really will be trying to find the ways to pull out of that situation. Your bad trip is the Ten of Cups reversed, the proposal, although you could say it was really good maybe making this ending that you had to end, there's going to be some real sadness over this. There's going to be some things that will just really take a while to heal. the end of, you know, something important that you felt emotionally. Aquarius. You have the Emperor, the Bachelor. So this is a good card for an Aquarian. Um, I think it's saying that from that ro romantic or relationship or emotional uh, sense of things, you're very much in control, Aquarians. Um, and I think some of this is because you have a sense of really that whole idea of your circles around you, of the friendships around you and the enterprises around you and the way that they overlap. And I think you're feeling really good about that because you may not necessarily be looking for a deeper friendship. You're very satisfied with the way things are right now. So what would that bad trip then be? And it's the Wheel of Fortune reversed, destiny. And I think this is just a reminder that you can be totally on top of things, but the cycle could change Aquarians in that it could be not very long, maybe even within this week, that you're going to have a slip in some of the sense of control you have that maybe something will happen that's really out of your control. So you might want to use that time to examine it in the context of that relationship because that's where I think it's going to happen too, is that maybe a relationship changes abruptly and you had no idea it was going to happen. That's, that's what I think is going on there. And so then finally we're on our last sign of the zodiac and it's Pisces. And Pisces has the Page of Wands, the Page of Roses, the free spirit. And I think, Pisces, the free spirit is you. Uh, I think you sort of have no necessarily preconditions about relationships, whether they're romantic or social friendly ones. You're just kind of putting yourself out there. Uh, it's spring. Well, it's moving towards summer. And you just want to be that free spirit and maybe that person that embodies a sense of good things coming. So then finally, what is that bad trip? And it's another page, but it's reversed. It's the page of cups. The daydreamer, it says. Well, the page of cups reversed and the page of roses so it's kind of like the mirrored, mirrored realities in a way. And I like the fact that they're both on little hearts. Probably all the pages are. I don't know if I've noticed that before. But with the Page of Cups reversed, the bad trip is saying that although you may have been thinking you were just going forth as a free spirit, there was somebody maybe who, who gave you a certain emotional vibe. But... It's not going to be easy to get there. It may be just really uh, a pipe dream in a way, a dream. Uh, and yet somehow, you know, it's really going to have resonance for you because maybe it, it really represented the kind of dream you really thought you could make reality. But I'm not so sure it's going to happen. Certainly not this week.
And that's what I had for the emotional exchanges this week. So, so glad you could come here and check it out with me. So come see us next week and we'll give you another reading again. All right. Thank you.